Welcome back to my stand-up channel. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have offered to fly in to see the Queen and introduce her to her namesake great-granddaughter Lilibet in the coming weeks. It has been reported. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are said to have a rocky relationship with some senior royals, but Harry is thought to remain on good terms with Her Majesty. He has reportedly made several, olive branch, calls to his family in the wake of the Sussexes' explosive interview with U.S. chat show host Oprah Winfrey. The couple are said to have asked the Queen if they can visit so their four-month-old daughter can meet her. According to The Sun, Harry and Meghan have been making plans for Lilibet's christening. With Windsor Castle touted as a potential venue. The visit would be Meghan's first return to the UK since they stepped back from royal duties in March last year. Harry came back alone for Prince Philip's funeral in April and then again in July to unveil a statue to his mother Diana alongside his brother Prince William. Royal sources told the newspaper they were shocked by the sheer nerve of the request for a meeting with the Queen. One said, Harry and Meghan have made this offer but a lot of people are shocked by the sheer nerve of it. They may genuinely want to see the Queen but it's breathtaking given what they've put her through this year. Her Majesty's staff have not responded so far. In fact, there has also been discussion about Christmas, and whether an invitation should be sent to Harry and Meghan. After they spurned one last year. The source went on to say that the Queen is still very fond of Harry and would love to see Lilibet and her brother Archie. The Sussexes have established a new life for themselves in the celebrity enclave of Montecito in California, buying a multi-million pound home and launching a non-profit foundation. Harry and Meghan have also signed lucrative deals, thought to be worth well over £100 million, with Spotify and Netflix that have given them the capital to pursue their new lifestyle in public. Goals. Much has been written about their decision to step down as senior royals for personal and financial freedom early last year, which was dubbed, Mexit. But it was only when the couple sat down for their much-anticipated television interview with Oprah in March that they told the world their side of the story. Meghan and Harry laid bare their brief lives as a working royal couple alleging a member of the family, not the Queen or Philip, made a racist comment about their son. And how the Duchess had suicidal thoughts but her approaches to the monarchy for help were turned down. Winfrey was left open-mouthed when the Duchess, the first mixed-race member of the modern monarchy, said a fellow royal was worried about how dark their son Archie's skin tone might be before he was born. Buckingham Palace later said the Queen was saddened to hear about Harry and Meghan's struggles but added, some recollections may vary, over the other allegations. Harry is to write his own tell-all memoir and has promised to write an accurate and wholly truthful account of his life. Source. Metro.co.uk Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.